Hey, 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 hey. It's time, love from love, hope from hope, and peace from our prince thereof. And this is the hour of love's greatest power shining forth as a as a uh, as a moon moonbeam on high, because these are the days of love when a crescendo of his love comes forth for all those who could believe. And so in this hour, it's time to realize more than ever before that fortune is finally smiling upon all those daring to dream of love. So let the just come to see that life is so short. Some of its rules need to be broken sometimes. Uh, so be sure to forgive quickly, kiss slowly, truly, truly love, love truly, and laugh uncontrollably, and never regret anything making you smile like the Lord's dove of love will now do. So it's time that we mount up on eagle's wings, uh, even the transforming dove of love who becomes the most regal eagle of the eons. So it's time to come out and sail away. Uh, so go ahead, make your very own day by throwing off ropes of religion that has kept you bound, and then sail away upon the most blessed winds of imagination that will bring forth nothing but peace and kingdom age peace to boot. And so in this hour, it's time to go ahead into the deepest deep waters. So now go forth out of the safe harbor and catch the wind of God in your sails and then explore, dream, and discover his beauty and the loveliness of his Messiah, Jesus Christ Almighty, afresh. Men can't change his wind, but they can adjust their sails in order to reach his kingdom for there isn't anyone who can discover new treasures without losing sight of the shore so are you ready to do that like captain r always says are you able because he alone is the treasure of excellence and the priceless pearl of great reward and so it's time to catch the lord's fast blowing wind of utter bliss which is the very best buzz imaginable uh, and know that our lord of always our lord of love is now bringing forth his most lofty breezes of glory as ideas about our most loving desires then becomes our our finest sails so Pull up your anchors in order to go forth, and while traveling in unto our serenity, let the wise count surrounding waves of joy uh, to see love's finest gift. For the wind is full and the tide is with us, and if we will let his crescendo of truth explode, it really will be as like fireworks in the sky. So love from love and hope from hope and peace from our prince and peace. And let us all praise him now and evermore. And praise him now that we might now sail into his very best mercy within a beautiful little blue dot sphere that shall never again see us drifting in any more uncertainty at all. Uh, for the dove is man's compass, helping us to see that what lies behind us and what lies before us really are small matters, especially when compared to our eternal truth. For he alone leads us into all truth that's found only in his everlasting honesty alone. So let every soul desiring to see the world through spiritual eyes now follow his new map of love to the very edge of tomorrow's very best dreams. And if you will do that, uh, you'll never look back and you'll never turn into, um, never turn into a pillar of salt. And so in this hour of love's greatest power, no, it's not by power nor by might, but by the spirit of love that all things will come forth. So get it going and it's time to be grateful for all that is. And remember people that you know you have a false God if you have a God who is a respecter of men. If he loves you best, eh, wrong answer, false God. And if you have a God that has conditional love, Eh, wrong answer. There is no such thing as conditional love. And if you have a Lord God who is not the Lord God of all mankind, eh, wrong answer. 
Jeremiah 32, 27 says, I am the Lord God of all mankind. And Jesus said the same thing. So you know you got a false Jesus if you have a Christ who is not the good shepherd over all the flocks of man, as he said in John 10. For the truest truth is that uh, if uh, it was not so, if he did not love us all equally, then the Bible would be a lie and God would be a liar. And he would be saying to all people, he'd be saying, don't do as I do, do as I say. I can love everybody best if I want to. And I wouldn't be a sinner because it's my law. No, no, no. He's our living example of truth. And the truth is we have invented false gods long ago in this world and so it's time to get along with that program so until next time love from love and keep it alive and keep it 100